Hello, this is a slope in Hakuba. Slope in Hakuba in the beginning of May, May 2nd. And Hakuba is a very high altitude place in Nagano prefecture of Japan. So many high mountain flowers are around me. And this is a plant which I see first time in my life. This is Glossidium. So Glossidium is a very interesting plant because botanists typically start explanation about plants from naming of family. <laughs> For Glossidium it's very hard to tell. Glossidium was put in Berberidaceae, in Barberry family. Glossidium was put in Ranunculaceae, in the Buttercup family. Glossidium was uh, regarded close to Peonia. Glossidium was regarded close to Puppies, to Papyraceae. Finally, <laughs> Glossidium was regarded as separate family, Glossidaceae. So, what's the reason? Glossidium stays likely in between most of these families, except Peonia. It is similar to Peonia, but Peonia is very far away. According to the recent molecular data, it is better to put Glossidium in buttercups. However, it differs from most of buttercups. First of all, it differs by structure of flower, because pistil of Glossidium is just one, like in Burberry family, in Burberry Daisy. And chemistry of Glossidium is really different from all buttercups. It does not contain any alkaloids, and while contains coumarins, which are absent in buttercups. However, morphological structure is not similar to Berberidaceae as well, because structure of the flower is closer to uh, buttercups from Colasis. So as you see, even from my short description, you can have an impression that Glossidium is something in between multiple families. This thing is growing only in Japan, and if we regard it as a separate family, that would be a family endemic to Japan. But you can say this is a very nice, well, endemic representatives of Japanese flora anyway. Glossidiums flower very early in the springtime, so here in Hakuba, well, spring uh, time in May is analogous to March in low level places. And flowers only with one flower between green leaves. This flower will continue to stay only for the short time, and very soon very strange and unusual fruit will develop. So fruit is like an umbrella. So umbrella-like fruits, similar a bit to Gidrastis, another genus from North America, but again, morphologically and molecularly, Gidrastis is also far away. So unique Glossidium representatives of Japanese flora flowering in a Hakuba slope on May 2nd. Thank you very much.